Hello YouTube, this is a video on one of these globe air fresheners. If anyone's a fan of Big Clive's channel, you would have seen that he's done a video on them, of the insides of it. Very good video, you should check it out. Right, so, as you can see, there's colour changing lights. The water is being stirred about. So yeah, let's just shut this off. Can you use a torch light? Uh, that's suboptimal. Let's keep it on, but I'll turn on the light. There. Now you can see the brand, AIM, as mentioned on screen, or Amos. Next to my expert Taurus. But yeah, right, so I'll stop it, wait for the water to set on, and I'll take it the top half off, and you see what how it works. Basically, just the shape of this, as this turns, sucks water up the middle onto these blades. The lighting is pretty poor. The flashlight on. Come on. That focus good. Yeah, and it pops it on. See, it turns. I just got soaked with water this. Remaining, remaining on there. So yeah, that spins around. Also, if you notice, look at the end. Oh, well, that's helpful. It's not actually deciding to focus. We'll do it ourselves then. But yeah, as you can see, the end is not straight. That is actually deliberate. Yeah, look, I've got the button on there. As you see, they've got the colour changing lights. So there's a module in there. It is sort of sealed. There is a gap there. Yeah, now it's focused perfectly. More splash resistant than anything else. I do have this water on this side. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm, seems it. Oh yeah, got a little bit of flicker. That's because of the motor. So yeah, that wobbles about. You can even look down the middle of it. That just basically squirts out the top where it's flickered out by these blades. Quite a simple concept really. This motor doesn't really have that much torque. And it doesn't have like a high locked rotor amps or anything like that so I'll plop it back on here and see what you I'll show you what I mean right now keep that on if you look at the middle of the spout see if we can get focus perfectly it's on manual focus so, you probably can't see up the middle Water does get drawn up. There's a chuck out at all angles. It's in green mode now. And as you can see, it's sloshing the water up and down. Right, so now for the general principle behind it. So, we've got ventilation here. That's that, those blades that I showed you earlier does produce a sort of good flow. It's enough to feel sort of through the fan blades here. So when that's on, it blows around the whole room. Oops, hit the camera. Um, yeah. So it does clean the room sort of. Well, gives it a smell. Let's just say that. Um, yeah. That's all quite cool. So, dust hits one of those water spuds or whatever. These are just the ones that hit the glass, but it's a very fine mist on the inside. And when one of them hits, obviously the two, they, because the water's heavier than the dust, that then plops down into the bottom here, where it goes all cloudy, which it kind of has done already. 
then you replace the water and then you can suck up more dust but that's not it it's marketed as an air freshener because it comes with these air revitalizer concentrate basically just smelly stuff oops, oops. yeah this one's wild berries smells like cow pot really anyway not bad for 13 pounds i'll find a link in the description you can get one day three day or just mail <laughs> which is like seven days um yeah that's about it all it all there is to it draws about 10 watts altogether and you don't have to have one of these smelly things in obviously you can just run it with water if you're really so inclined to do so you could have no water and just have it as a colour changing light but you've still got the rotor spinning around so you're wasting about 10 watts of power still I'll shut this one off and yeah that about it wraps it up for this video bye